Hello all, I am Dr. Pravash Chandranbhak. In today's class, we will discuss about the ALR parsing algorithm or ALR parser. So we have already discussed about the ALR parser or ALR parsing algorithm in previous class. Okay. So today we will discuss one more example of ALR parser. Okay. See the question. How many number of how many how many number of shift and reduce action? How many number of shift and reduce actions are taken are taken by the ALR parser. How many number of shift and reduce actions are taken by the ALR parser for the following input string where the input string is i plus i. Where the input string is i plus i. And for this means for this input string the given grammar is here e to t plus c e to t and t to i. And this is the LR parsing table is given here. The LR parsing table here is given. This is called LR. This is called LR parsing. LR parsing table. Okay. So the LR parsing table is given and we'll find. Now we we'll check. The given input string i plus i is accepted or rejected by the given error on the parsing table means error parsing table. Okay, now we'll find. So initially, generally the star contains dollar and the and the means uh, initial state and the initial state of the initial state of the stack tree. Initially. It contains the star contains dollar and the star state or initial state of initial state is here i zero. Initial the star contains initial state of the DFA and here input buffer is i plus i. Here input buffer is i plus i dollar. Okay. So initially star contains dollar and the initial state of the DFA and the input buffer contains and the input buffer contains i plus i. Okay. Now we'll check. The action zero to i zero to first i but zero to i equals to what? So here yeah, zero to i just say zero to i is s three action zero to i is s three. Since zero to i is s three action, now we will shift this i. S three means shift action. S three means shift action. So now we will shift. This is dollar zero. Shift the first element of the input buffer. First element is here i, and then we'll shift the shift number. Here yeah, shift number is three. Shift number is three. So now the input buffer contains plus i dollar. Okay. So now we'll check three to plus. What is the top of the stack here? Top of the stack contains three. Then here the then the first element of means input buffer is here plus so three to plus now I'll check three to plus equals what three to plus three to plus is R three three to plus is R three sorry three to plus is R three what is the meaning of R three here see just make the number in sequence order one. Two, three. R three means T two I. R three means here T two I. T two I. Now will R three means reduce action. R three means reduce action. So we will reduce how many elements? The two times of RHS part. Two into here RHS part contains only one element. So two into one equals to two. Okay. So here, I'll form two elements from the stack. So now my stack contains dollar zero. So these two elements i and three replaced by this t. Okay. So now we'll see zero to t. 
just take the go to action zero to t is true right so now the input buffer contains plus i tala now we'll check two to plus two to plus so here two to plus two to plus is s four action S four means shift action. So now we'll shift. This is dollar zero p two and shift. The starting element of the input buffer means plus. Then what is the number of Shift symbol. Number of shift operation or shift action is four. So this is four. Then I tell her. Now we we'll check four to I. Four to I. See here four to I. Each shift action means S three. Okay. Now we will shift. Is dollar zero p two plus four? Then we'll shift the this element means i i. Then the shift number the shift number is three. Okay, now dollar so three two dollar here top of the stack is three three. Then dollar so three two dollar just check from the LR parsing table three two dollar three two dollar each R three. What is the meaning of R three? Just check the grammar. R three is T two I. So now we'll reduce T two I. So how many elements I will reduce? The RHS part contains only one element, means two into one equals to two. Two elements from top of the stack. Okay. So these two elements are replaced by this three. This is dollar zero zero. T two plus four and T okay so T is replaced by sorry I and three is replaced by this T then four to T go to action just check four to T is what four to T four to T is two action so number is two here. Then dollar. Now we'll check two two dollar two two dollar is what two two dollar two two dollar is at two 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 dollar is at two. Just check at two here at two means reduce shift and reduce action at two means reduce action. So at two is e to t. So e to t. So the RHS part contains only one element. So we will reduce how many elements? Two into one equals to two. So we will reduce two elements from top of the stack, and these two elements are replaced by this e. So. Dollar zero t two plus four. Then this is e. So this is dollar. So see four two e. 
This is called go to action. So see here, go to E. Just check the table. Go to E. Each five. Go to each five. So now we'll check five to dollar. Five to dollar. See five to dollar. Each R one action. So just check R one means the first. Production means e to t plus c, e to t plus c. So this is e to t plus e. So the RHS part contains three elements. So two into c equals to six. So we will remove six element from top of the stack. See one, two. Three, four, five, six. Five, six. Let's see. This is the dollar. This is zero. And these six elements are replaced by this e. Right. So now we'll take the go to action zero to e. Just check the table. Zero to e is what? Here yeah, zero to e is one. Zero to e is one. So now we'll see one to dollar. One to dollar. Okay, just check the table. One to dollar. So one to dollar is accept action. One to dollar is accept. So the input string i plus i, the input string i plus i is accepted by the given Euler passing table. Okay. So now uh, we have already discussed about the Euler parsing. We have already discussed means two examples on Euler parsing algorithm or Euler parser. So in the next class, we'll discuss about the construction of Euler parsing algorithm. Construction of Euler parsing algorithm means here. Uh, here, uh, a contextual grammar. Here, contextual grammar is given, and we'll design this table. We'll design this table. It's this one, LR passing table. Okay. So, in the next class, we'll discuss about the construction of LR passing table. Okay. So, thanks for watching.